Hi, my name is Luke Bolzinius. I'm a senior civil engineer in the transportation department with Millhouse Engineering and Construction. And I uh, just want to tell you about a couple projects we're working on right now. Um, specifically, the uh, we have a project that's the Nigeria Hall Road and uh, site mining. Uh, for that, it's 3.4 miles going through some pretty rough terrain uh, through mountainous regions. Um, we are performing uh, early report and per permitting for uh, environmental and uh, site layout. Uh, it's been kind of a cool project because it's uh, outside of our normal Illinois range. Um, it's, it's been very diff different because we don't have uh, quite as much uh, experience in the region, so there's uh, a lot to catch up with uh, as far as um, you know, what their rules and regulations are, standard, uh, standard design codes. Working in metric is very different. I guess I should say it's 5.5 kilometers rather than miles, um, but it's a really cool project um, and uh, looks to go to construction pretty soon here. Uh, well, I guess I just like uh, sort of working for a new client, uh, you know, working you know, internally for Millhouse Energy. Um, that's, that's been really cool. Um, also, just that it's on the other side of the world. Um, it's also going to be uh, sort of a big revenue generator for the region and helping kind of an uh, underserved part of the world. So that's been really cool. Uh, another project we're working on is Illinois Route 47 over Blackberry Creek. Um, this is a project that uh, this intersection has been located in a floodplain uh, since its construction. So part of this project is raising the profile of the road uh, up about 4.5 feet five feet and uh, there's going to be two bridges one culvert one bridge being replaced with two bridges uh, this project brought uh, some unique challenges um, in raising something up that high uh, you have sight line distances uh, that you have to uh, make sure are clear and you can't really do that uh, with driver's eye at three and a half feet so we have a unique approach for this project uh, it's using temporary geotextile fabric wraps to build up the intersection in lifts so you've always got safe uh, driver's eye so you can uh, maneuver through there without needing temporary signals uh, that would be additional cost and would have long signal cycles uh, so safety issues also factored into that um, this is a project that we've been involved with uh, it's in Kane County yeah. Uh, another project we're working on is Illinois Route 47 over Blackberry Creek. Um, this is a project that uh, this intersection has been located in a floodplain uh, since its construction. So part of this project is raising the profile of the road uh, up about 4.5 feet, 5 feet. And uh, there's going to be two bridges, one culvert, one bridge being replaced with two bridges. Uh, this project brought uh, some unique challenges. Um, in raising something up that high, uh, you have sight line distances uh, that you have to uh, make sure are clear, and you can't really do that uh, with driver's eye at three and a half feet. So we have a unique approach for this project. Uh, it's using temporary geotextile fabric wraps to build up the intersection in lifts, so you've always got safe uh, driver's eye, so you can uh, maneuver through there without needing temporary signals uh, that would be additional cost. and would have long signal cycles. Uh, so safety issues also factored into that. Um, this is a project that we've been involved with. Uh, it's in Kane County. Um, anything else? Who's the client? Of? Yeah, this is a project for IDOT. Right, okay. That's it pretty good. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Cut it. Yeah.
this thing. <laughs> that iPhone takes some pretty good video. It doesn't too. look like this. Good feel for B roll. The best kind. How much of it do you want? That's good. 